12 years ago, a question started to intrigue me. And the question was, how many medical devices and diagnostics do we need in a country to provide universal health coverage? I started to look at India as my case study and focus specifically on diabetes. Now, the International Diabetes Federation actually says that India has 61.2 million people with diabetes right now. If you actually follow the standard practice, standard operating procedures on each one of them and do all the tests and all the treatment that they're supposed to do, here's what we are actually faced with for a year. Three billion blood sugar tests. Three billion blood pressure tests. Two billion urine tests. Two billion hemoglobin tests. 250 million visits to the doctor. 2.5 million hospitalizations. 5.4 billion syringes, and countless number of dialysis sessions for people who actually end up getting end-stage kidney disease because of diabetes. This is a large number, and when you actually total up the cost that's associated with it, it comes to around 0.8% of our country's GDP. Let me put that in perspective. India, for its entire healthcare budget, only spends 1.8% of its GDP. So not only are you going to need a 67% increase to take care of diabetes, let's actually add the cost of cardiovascular disease. Let's add the cost of reproductive and child health, cancer, airborne pollution-related diseases. And essentially, this vibrant and young India's picture starts graying a little bit. And the problem is essentially that India does need to spend more money on health care. But also, we need more health for our money. So what works is the fact that most of the medical devices and most of the medical diagnostics are essentially made for the top 1% of the world's population, right? And then we in India just adopt them and wait for them to get cheaper for all of us to be able to afford it. And India can't afford that. So what we ended up saying is why don't we actually start developing for the bottom billion? And that was the basic dream with which I came back to India in 2011. I traveled the length and breadth of this country. I asked people, what do you want from health? What is health for you? What do you want to improve in healthcare delivery? And it was around those interactions that the concept of democratizing diagnostics really started to hit me. The idea of affordable, reliable, quality, digital diagnostics available anywhere, anytime. Now, when we actually started this, the problem was quite complex because you had to take stuff that was actually lying in three big rooms, biochemistry analyzers, you needed patient monitors, you needed all this stuff that lies in big labs, and these big labs take a lot of money from us, saying oh, we have three Tesla and four Tesla, and we had to reduce it into something that can actually be used in the rural uh, environment and had to be used in a very, very rugged manner. And that's when me and my team started to work on this device called the Swasthya Slate, which literally translates to a health tablet. Swasthya Slate, is a powerful device that actually allows you to do 33 diagnostic tests on a mobile phone. So instead of just doing one and then putting it on a mobile phone, we said, let's actually put all 33 on it. Because disease is multidimensional, so should be the solution. Let me show you, uh, let me show you a live demo. So my dear friend here, Ankit, he has a girlfriend. Let's take a look at his heart, if it's any different, right? So here is his live ECG that you can actually see. This is a tablet that I've picked up. This is a tablet on which you can play Angry Birds. But it's also a tablet on which you can actually do a live ECG of Ankit. And then at the end of it, go ahead and produce a report just like this that can actually tell a clinician on whether Ankit needs to be in a hospital or not. Um, let me show you something other cool stuff that happens. As this ECG is being captured, we actually reduce all of his patient data into a 60 kilobyte file that can actually be then uploaded onto the internet by 2G, by 3G, by 4G, but also without any G. It can actually be uploaded onto the internet via an SMS that can then send data to our SMS server and then move it on. And that works beautifully, for example, in Leh, where we are out there, where mothers need to be transmit, uh, transferred to a hospital. We want the data to transmit with them, and you don't have internet. So how do you do that? You can do that with these kinds of systems. Let me show you something else. Here is an example of antenatal care visit 
app, antenatal care is a pregnancy related preventive app. So it's already recorded GPS that this particular visit happened in Mumbai. Let me show you another cool feature. So we go ahead, we'll show some questions. You can answer these questions. And as these questions are answered, the system will actually throw back advice that you can tell the patient. So the frontline health worker is actually getting advice. So if you can focus on that, it actually gets standardized advice that you can give a patient anywhere about what they are supposed to do. And that's very critical. It also generates referrals. So for example, if the mother is bleeding from the vagina or has a, a leaking of watery fluid, as soon as you press save here, it generates an emergency referral. And that emergency referral, as soon as you press OK, goes to the first referral unit and the doctor has all the data awaiting them. All he has to do is scan the mother's iris or scan the mother's fingerprint and all this information is available to him. For the first time, you actually have mothers showing up in rural areas for delivery with their entire antenatal care visits records with them. And that's beautiful. Now, for you, what if you wanted to know that, that persistent fever? Is it typhoid? Is it malaria? Is it dengue? Well, Ankit here has actually just, as we were speaking, done a test on this machine, which is a machine meant for urban India. And that's a machine where he's actually going in and doing a malaria test. And as he just press analyze, within one second, the system will actually tell you whether this person has malaria or not. One second. Doesn't take two weeks, doesn't take one week, doesn't take a day, it takes one second. And that's the beauty of this particular system. It's an end-to-end -end digitization solution. We begin with decision support, we go on to doing referrals, we go on to doing advice and move on. Now the government of India actually partnered with us. They put us in six to six of Jammu and Kashmir. We've been live in Rajori, Punch and Doda. These are places where you generally hear of, unfortunately, because of terrorism. But slowly and steadily, a health revolution is happening there. You can actually see that mothers are actually showing up in these clinics and getting their tests done. 61% was what we were reaching before the Swaslet, 89.1% today. And the number of mothers who are getting all their tests done has actually grown by 25%, 25 times rather. And that's where we actually feel really, really proud about what we've actually gone ahead and done. What's also interesting is it used to take 14 days to get an antenatal care visit. You had to run from one facility to another, to another, just to get a preventive visit for a pregnant lady. Now, from 14 days, it just takes 40 minutes flat. And that's better than what happens in Mumbai. That's better than what happens in Paris. That's better than what happens in London. 40 minutes flat, a mother knows exactly what to do to protect herself and to protect her kid. We have also now found that this is a problem for urban India. When you go to your doctor, don't you waste two to five days just getting diagnostics, going back to the doctor, getting some medication and adjusting it. Now, with the health cube, which is this little device that you just saw there, doctors can actually do the test right there and then and give you solutions as we speak and give you medications. In fact, in the Delhi government's Piragadi clinic, which is their smart city solution for healthcare, a patient can walk in, go to the doctor, get diagnostics, go back to the doctor, then go to the pharmacist, get the medication, all of the system done in a paperless system in 4.38 minutes flat. That's the beauty of this particular solution. And that's the whole point of being working for the bottom billion. You know, for me, health and technology are intertwined. They cannot be separated anymore. And it is up to us in India to lead this revolution by putting rural first and essentially enabling the digital version of healthcare. Thank you.